nak pakai EV sangat kan ha, Sekarang ni aku ada dekat R&R Gambang Aduh Dan ada dua Tesla tengah menunggu nak charge Alright guys, so this dude has a MG4 X Power A pretty powerful EV But he spent more than 3 hours at Gambang Westbound R&R Just to charge his car Lebih 3 jam that's crazy! So when he arrived, there was a queue and a charger. So obviously he waited. And then he spent another 1 hour and 20 minutes just to charge his EV to 96%. That's crazy. Sorry bro, you're doing it wrong. Let me give you some advice. I've been driving EVs a lot for long distance drives. I've been from KL to Kota Baru during Raya Eve. I've also driven from KL to Kuala Terengganu and even typing to JB on a single charge and I've no big issues when it comes to charging for driving long distance. And here are a couple things that you should know if you plan to drive your EV for long distance drive. Number one, stop charging at 80%. Don't charge a full, stop at 80%. If you're going to use the DC fast charger, I advise you to stop at 80% because the last 20% is going to take a long time. As you can see from the example up here, it's actually faster to charge from 37% to 80% than to charge from 80 to 100%. So instead of wasting your time, just stop charging 80% and continue driving until you need to charge. That's much quicker, don't waste time and save your money. Why is this happening? It's because there's something called the battery charging curve. So the higher state of charge, the charging slows down. So it's not worth it to spend time waiting for the last 20%. Number two, avoid locations with only a single DC fast charging nozzle. Like this location at Gambang Westbound Arana. There's only a single 50 kilowatt charger with one CCS2 nozzle. If only one EV can charge at a time, of course lah, the chance of it being busy is going to be very high. If you're coming from Kuantan, there are plenty of other chargers that are faster and possibly cheaper than this location. Like this one, Indra Makota Starbucks drive through This is a 60 kilowatt charger with two nozzles and it's priced at one ringgit and 20 cents per kilowatt hour. It's cheaper. And there's this, Proton Passat CTM. This is a 120 kilowatt charger and it's priced at 1 ringgit 50 kilowatt hour. Yeah, and it's two nozzles as well. Or this one, Proton 3S YS Auto World. This is a 60 kilowatt charger with two nozzles and it's priced at 1 ringgit and 50 cents per kilowatt hour. So go find a location that has at least two nozzles or more. If more EVs can charge, then the chance of you queuing up will be very low. Recently, I've driven the GWM Aura 07 from KL to Kuala Trangano and on the way back, I made a stop at Kuantan. And when I charged at Indra Makota drive through I only spent about 45 minutes to charge the car from 28% to 84%. And that's while having lunch. So I didn't actually waste time. So I'm actually charging the car very quickly while having lunch. And the total time to drive from Kuantan to KL is about 3 hours and 20 minutes. And that's inclusive of the 45 minutes charging time spent while I'm having my nasi kukus. So here's the thing about EV. If you still have the old petrol mindset of having to charge the car to full all the time, well, you're going to have a bad time. With the EV, it's all about the top-up mindset. You don't need to wait until it's empty to charge and you don't need to charge to full all the time. 96% charge and only 229 km of range? The MG4 X Power has a WLTP rated range of 385 km on a full charge. How fast are you driving bro? 